We grew up watching Predator, Running Man, Commando, Terminator, Woo-hoo. One and Two, uh, Conan, all of these movies. Do you realize that you were, you partly helped raise our entire generation? <laughs> like, literally. Yeah. I, I mean, don't, get, don't get me wrong. My father is the man that we both and looked he up might to the be most. Your biggest fan. Out of By all, far, I, we watched Predator together on the couch. Yeah. He would eat buffalo chicken wings with blue cheese <laughs> slobbering off of them, not looking like uh, the Dutch. But what is, <laughs> I guess, um, yeah? What movie do people bring up the most from your career? Like, what? Which one did you like the most? I guess. Well, and then, let me tell you that it changes all the time. Okay. It's really weird because there are times, like for instance, where people were. Uh, Kind of go crazy over Conan the Barbarian, yeah. Oh, yeah. and everyone wanted to see Conan the Barbarian, and they saw it over Man. and over again, and all this stuff. And then uh, you know, uh, people things changed, and then all of a sudden they said Terminator. Oh, I love Terminator. Say the line, "I'll be back," and I would say, "I'll be back." No, no, not the way you said in the movies. <laughs> so I said, "I'll be back," <laughs> and, then, and then they said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah." <laughs> That's look, exactly. Yeah, so just they looking get, at me like that, really, saying it was they crazy. Get, they, get, they get really excited oh, over, over that, you know. And so then, then True Lies. Then a lot of people says, "Thought True Lies was the greatest thing because of Jamie Lee Curtis yes. and our dynamics together." And then it was twins, and so it's it, it has changed over the years. And then it comes back again. Like for instance, recently, uh, more people have been asking me and talking to me about Predator. Which is really interesting, yeah. you know, so, so that because Predator we have done, I think it was 19, uh, well, I shot it in 1986, it came out in 1987, mm-hmm. and um, uh, it was, uh, you know, it was really a fantastic, you know, uh, team of guys that were together, Jesse Ventura, yeah. and uh, those Carl guys, Weathers Carl and, Weathers, exactly, oh, yeah. Yeah. it was really fantastic, and so we had a great time doing it, but, you know, now all of a sudden there's a resurrection of this movie, and I don't know why that is, and so a lot of people have been asking me about Predator. So, but I have, like I said, I've done a lot of movies that uh, people enjoy, and uh, that now they come back on Netflix and on all those different streaming services, which is really great. Yeah. So it has a, a life of its own, and uh, I think that now I have kind of like the the older people. The baby boomers, they're the fans of mine, and also the young people again, because these movies are coming back in the streaming service. Oh, yeah. So it's yeah. really great to enjoy both. That's so cool, man. Yeah. Awesome. Was there any movie that you passed on that you wished you would have taken? There, there was a movie called The Rock and uh, with John Connery. Yeah, yeah. So they came to me with a script that was only 80 pages instead of 120, which normally scripts are. Yeah. With a lot of handwritten scribbling in it, and uh, they tried to kind of explain to me, oh, this is what we're gonna write here. And this. So I said, look guys, why don't you just come back when it's finished? Yeah. I said, this is half-baked. Ah. And I'm not gonna make a com- commitment. I said, and I have three movies lined up already to do in the next year and a half. So I said, I'm gonna God be busy damn. anyway. And so they then left, which was Jerry Bruckheimer yeah. and Don Simpson. They left and then they, uh, Nicholas Cage, got the job, got, it. got the part, and they went to him, and he was, he took it, and uh, the way the script was, and then they did fine tune the script, and did a great job with it, and the movie was fantastic, Yeah. even though I was not in it, but Nicolas Cage did a fantastic job, Sean Connery was great, the directing was great, the writing, everything was really a straight 10, so I mean, I, was, I really enjoyed the movie, but there was one movie, for instance, that I thought, I wished I would have taken, but I mean, I just, couldn't take it because it was not yet written because they always say what's not on the page is not on the stage. Yeah. So you got to be very careful always and that's also an advice to for you guys in the future when you get offered movies, just make sure that it is written well because you know, when they say to you, it says, well, we're going to have great special effects and you will not believe the kind of things we're doing and we have this great director, we have this and that, we're going to straighten all this out Let's see it first. Yeah. yeah Let me see the man. pages first. Let's see the rewrite first and all that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah. Because you want to be in something good, not right off the top, something that is not good. You yes. know? So because later on, you never know how it's going to end up. But so this is just advice for me to you that they always kind of look for well written scripts. That is the key thing. Got it. And, great, right. and great directors. I mean, when I think about my career, wouldn't be what it was and what it has been. 
uh, if it wouldn't have been for Chang Millias who directed good Conan. coaches, man. Yeah, and uh, or for exactly, but, uh, but the, show you the or way. like Jim Cameron. Yeah, yeah. I mean, think about Jim Cameron. I mean, Come what a now. genius director, right? The Terminator, Terminator Two with him, True Lies with him, and then he went on to do Titanic and then the Avatar and all of this stuff. I mean, he literally made some of my favorite movies of all times. Yeah. Or Ivan Reitman, who directed uh, Twins, uh, or John McTurnan, who did The uh, Predator. So these are really extraordinary directors. They made me shine because they were great directors. Always shining light, man. Yeah. You're always shining light on everybody. Hey.